What is up, everybody? I'm Antslagstaff. Uh, just a FYI, my Instagram account, my old one, it is still hacked. Um, go follow my new one. It will be either typed or linked down in the description below. Uh, but besides that, besides all that stupid stuff, <laughs> uh, a update on my Acromix Versicolor colonies. Uh, first, we got this one. Which is doing amazing. You can see them all running around. Running around. <laughs> Easily around probably 200 workers. The fungus is hanged on top of the... Uh... Man, my... they've already made a mess of this nest. It is hanged so they can crawl underneath it. There's a queen right there. Which is actually very surprising. Lots of brood in this colony. Lots of it. They will need a new nest soon, surprisingly, because I just moved them into this not that long ago. This guy. So I just uh, moved this colony into this nest because the other nest was way too moist and it they just started to go down downhill but now they seem to be recovering a lot so this colony will ho hopefully pick up speed this this colony had the exact same thing happen with uh, these just they seem to be Better, they seem to be recovering. This one doing a lot better, like, gee, my goodness. This one is doing a lot better. Oh, hey, look at that. You can see them bringing some lettuce. Some lettuce. Acromo Mix Volus color, by the way. If you guys need, like, any tips, use lettuce. Like, lettuce has been a game changer. Lettuce and dried stuff has been amazing. It's been working like, yeah. <laughs> Just, this is probably the 10th one that they've gone through. And that's saying something for small colonies of acromomics. This one is also doing very well. This one is doing a lot better. Um, if you go back and watch uh, some of my old videos, this colony used to be only like this much f fungus right here, and one one queen, well actually multiple queens, but back then, and one worker. Now they're down to one queen, and I believe like 15 workers, which is awesome. And then, this colony, I just harvest a lot of fungus from, to, oh, to, um, supply one of my friends with fungus. So, they are kind, I, I kind of made them fall behind, but they are catching up a lot. And then, probably the best or the second best one that I have is this one but I'm not gonna show show you guys that that one at, at the moment this one is doing awesome these guys have two nests which is awesome oh yeah and this one this one also has two nests I just uh, gave them this nest uh, when did I give them this this nest uh, Tuesday Right? Yeah, no. No, it was Wednesday. Oh. It was yesterday. Last yesterday morning. Or oh. it's Friday. What the hell am I saying? <laughs> this is when you're tired. That's yeah. <laughs> Wednesday. That was two days ago. Wednesday morning is when I gave them this brand new nest. And they are doing they are 
making it though, nest, which is awesome. <laughs> so can't wait till this colony starts to expand there. These guys will need a new nest like this uh, very, 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 very soon. Please focus. Let me zoom out. Yeah, so soon I will have a bunch of these for them. And then now it's time to actually show you guys this colony here. This colony is definitely the best one that I have, or at least one of the best. Hello! <laughs> um, uh, no. This is editing me. Um, when I was talking about my ac acromomics, I'm pointing there because that's where they are right now. And have been for a year, almost. Uh, when I was filming them for this video, in the video I noticed I ordered something weird about the lettuce and fresh, not fresh, uh, dried stuff. I made it sound like I wasn't feeding them that uh, at all before. Uh, just to say, and let you guys know, I was. I've been feeding them dried stuff from day day one. I only just now included fresh stuff uh, like two months ago. Uh, but yeah, so a 50-50 ratio of fresh and dried for acromomics reverse color is probably the best thing that you can do for you guys, so you guys can take that information, that is what I have learned, and I'm going to share it, because I know a lot of people that have struggled, and why does it look like my hat is crooked, but it's not, like it's perfectly there, but it's, okay, whatever, OCD, <laughs> uh, but yeah, so, that's just a side note, please, Continue watching the video, and I'll see you guys later. This colony has probably 200 workers. I'm 200. That was the last estimate I did. 300. Three hundred, three hundred through four, and so yeah, uh, three hundred workers easy, lots of brood, and they are just yeah, they are an insane colony. Yeah, you want to do something here? Oh, uh, where is my flashlight? It's in my pocket. That's right. It's just, it's, this flashlight is extremely bright, and it's, oh my god, brightness. I'm going to turn my camera light off, and show you guys this colony, like this. Which is actually very cool. Oh wow, look at that. <laughs> oh, there's a queen all the way back there. If my phone can focus and do somewhat good qual quality, it, yeah, that's not going to happen. But you can see your shoes right there, right on the tip on the top. Why is my finger shaking so much? You can see all of the leaf material that they have brought in. And there's one. Yeah, these these guys have a good, easy uh, four three three hundred four hundred wo wo workers. I always try and say the bigger number first and then the smaller one, 
but then it just doesn't make sense. And that's also just because of thing mental stuff that I have. <laughs> Yeah, this is definitely the best colony I have. Uh, these uh, things that are coming down from the ceiling, they're ba ba basically stalactites, I guess you can say, because that's literally what they look like. And if you don't know what stalactites are, uh, they're literally spikes inside caves that can easily fall down and basically kill you. <laughs> very, very sharp, pointy rocks is basically what stalagmites are, but in this case, it's fungus. Now, as I was saying, though, these guys will ho hopefully make their way all the way down here, just like uh, this one here. It's not actually on the, um, it's not a actually touching the, uh, side here. I can't, it's kind of hard to show because it's camera. The, the camera doesn't like to show things correctly. This is, well, I mean, I guess that show shows it because those ants look really directly on it like that. But yeah, hopefully they will become that big it's past the tape like it's it's literally past the tape and that's probably has a good inch or so left to go to hit the bottom and this all the way from the top and this is probably the second longest one Bob probably has like three inches left to go Yeah, yeah, roughly round three, which is cool. And then the, he was their outworld. And then their trash pile. Which is just. Alright, let's uh, do that. Let's turn my flashlight off, and then let's turn my phone light on. Now, none of my Acromomix Voscolor colonies, aka the Desert Leaf Cutter Ant, um, none of them actually have full sized workers yet, which is kind of insane to think about. Um, how I know that is because obviously I've seen them in the wild. <laughs> But they are definitely getting close. They are definitely, definitely getting close. Yeah, that is a update on my Acromomix Vosa color colonies. And I'm Ant Slagstaff, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Uh, please go follow my new Instagram account. And please leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.